I'll just uh, start with a little bit of an introduction here. Um, what we're doing, once again, this is a live tutoring session for Graduation Alliance for Fitness for Life. Um, and just a little bit about me. Once again, it's my first time doing uh, the live study session, uh, something they just started. But uh, my name is Mr. Dean. I know it says math teachers under my name, but uh, first name is Adrian, last name is Dean. But you know, just for this purpose, the purpose of this course, I go by Mr. Dean, which is fine. Um, a bit of a little background about me. It's kind of nice to actually see some face, some faces behind the uh, Graduation Alliance. Usually we don't get to see each other or anything like that. So this is nice to actually see some, some people. But uh, a little bit more about me is uh, I've been teaching for, um, gosh, about 18 years. So uh, I've been teaching with Graduation Alliance for three of those years. I also teach um, in Waterford, Michigan. Uh, and I live in Grand Blanc, Michigan. I don't know if you, where you guys are from, but uh, most of my students are from either Michigan or Ohio. Um, uh, so I have two kids. Uh, they're gone right now. So if you hear any noise, it will just be the dog. The dog may bark if the UPS guy or FedEx guy decides to come. So, but other than that, shouldn't be interrupted too much. Um, and with that, I think we're going to dive kind of into this. I have a Presentation prepared is basically on the first um, unit in Fitness for Life semester one, um, which is on the FIT principle. And so I'll go through the presentation. If you have any questions, you can unmute and ask those uh, questions if you'd like. Um, or, you, you know, you can use the chat function as well, too, to, to use, use, uh, ask any questions. So um, there's kind of two parts to the presentation. One part is we're going to go over the FIT principle. And the other part is we're going to actually go over um, kind of designing a plan and one of the uh, assignments. So um, with that, I'll, we will get, uh, you should be able to see my PowerPoint and I will do the slideshow. All right. So what is FIT? So in the first unit, they talk about this acronym called FIT, F-I-T-T. And I just basically have it laid out there for you. Uh, the F stands for frequency, uh, I is intensity, the T is time, and the other T is type. And so uh, throughout the presentation, we'll get a, dig a little bit deeper into what each one of those is and what they mean, um, and then how it applies to the assignment. Uh, the first one, the F in the FIT, is frequency, which is how often you exercise. And so, um, so I got a couple of questions there. You don't have to answer them or anything like that, but just something to think about. And it's basically when we talk about frequency, it's how often you exercise now. And another question I pro pro or propose to you is how often should you exercise? Uh, a lot of different research out there. Um, basic kind of rule of thumb is 30 minutes, three times a week. Um, that you'll, you'll see a lot of that when we talk about how often you should exercise. Personally, myself, I try to do something active every day. Um, you know, being a physical education teacher and a health teacher, it's just kind of, it's just kind of who I am. It, it really helps me. It helps my mental health. It helps my physical health. Um, I think it's very important to do. Um, there's very rarely a day that goes by that I that I don't do something physically active. Now that could be um, something as simple as is walking for 30 minutes. Um, I do try to get to to the I. Uh, go to a gym and I hit the weights and things like that. Uh, but um, it doesn't have to be anything complex, I guess is my point. Um, but I try to do 30, uh, I try to do at least 30 minutes every day, but it's, uh, it's more or less, you know, 30 minutes to an hour um, every day. So that's just me. So frequency is how often. Uh, intensity there, I got a little picture of uh, the guy and he's strenuously uh, lifting that weight there, but intensity is how hard you are actually exercising. So, um, you know, I put down uh, walking would be one form of exercising. Jogging would be another form. Uh, running, or I probably should have said sprinting, would be another form of exercise. Now, those are all forms of exercise, but obviously walking is not as intense as running or sprinting. So there's um, different levels of intensity on how hard you're actually working out. Um, and I think the picture does a good job there. That guy is probably on a scale of one to 10. It looks like he's, he's up there on a nine or a 10, you know, so 
Um, there's something that they call um, when you're training with weights or doing push-ups or doing pull-ups, um, going to failure. And usually failure means it's, it's at that very last push-up or that very last sit-up. And usually that's your most intense, you know, time that you're exercising is when you're really at, at, at failure and can't do any more of those exercises. So that's the I. Uh, the time, so we got the F and the I, and there's, remember there's two T's. Uh, so the time is uh, how long? Um, and pretty simple, I mean, pretty straightforward. Um, so I talked a little bit earlier, I like to exercise every day for 30 minutes to an hour. And so time is just basically, you know, that 30 minutes. Don't get it confused with frequency and frequency is how many days that you're going to work out or, or whatnot, where time is the actual um, you know, uh, minutes or hours that, that, that you're going to work out. So hey, maybe I'll walk for 30 minutes, maybe I'll, um, swim for 15 minutes, whatever that might be, you know, I'm going to lift weights, you know, with rest, but that whole session is going to last an hour or maybe I played basketball or maybe I played tennis or but whatever it is, it could be, you know, that whatever the time is, that's how long. So, and then the last T is tight. And the type is the what? And so I've given a lot of examples, or given a lot of examples. Um, I've talked about walking and running and jogging and sprinting. Um, you know, there's aerobics, there's cycling, there's basketball. Um, you know, the picture on um, the left side of my screen there is, um, shows a lot of different activities too. So I mean, you got yoga. Um, and so any of those physical, anything that's physically active and and something that I do is some people, you know, don't even think about this, but anytime you're really moving your body and, and the intensity kind of comes into it too. But I do a lot, of, a lot of home improvement, which is a lot of building. And so you're lifting things and you're pulling and pushing. And so anytime you're physically active um, is exercise. So it doesn't have to be a sport or it doesn't have to be running or swimming. It could be, um, you know, cleaning the house and you're just really moving. And, you know, it might not be that intense, but maybe you clean the house for an hour. That's good. Anytime you're up and moving. So, but we identify that as the type. Anybody have any questions? All right, I think we're good there, huh? Okay, thumbs up. <laughs> All right, um, so the next um, thing I'm gonna get into is kind of uh, designing your plan, which should go along with activity 1.11. Um, and then there's another um, activity I'm going to briefly go over to at the end as well. Um, so this will help you with any of your assignments if you haven't done them yet, or maybe it just might even help you with future assignments on kind of what we expect at Graduation Alliance. Uh, so, um, you know, if you're de designing a fitness plan and you're using the FIT principle, something that I recommend, and th let's just say this is a real life scenario and you're really gonna do this and you're gonna take it seriously. I would start with the F and the T. And so we all have things in our day that we have to do. Some of us work, some of us go to school, um, some of us have to take care of kids. Um, so we have these things that we do during our day, our, you know, our week and our schedule. So we, you know, the best thing to do when we talk about exercise and we talk about designing a plan is to look at your schedule, okay, Monday, through Friday, I have to work every day from eight to, you know, let's say eight to three o'clock, something like that. So that time you obviously can't work out, but maybe you can work out after work or you can walk or you can exercise after work. So that's the F. So I would start there. Like you really have to make it a part of your day um, as far as that frequency goes and the time. So if I'm working from eight to three, or maybe I get a lunch break from 12 to one, Hey, I can take my lunch with me. I can take an apple and some snacks and things like that. And I can walk during lunch. So that would be your frequency and your time. I get a lunch break from 12 to 1230 or from 12 to 1245 or whatever it might be. I'm going to walk. I'm going to do that every day during my lunch break. So that's your frequency and time. So that's where I say start there. So, so you can plug it right into your calendar. Um, and so when you're designing your plan to start with those two um, letters, um, uh, so starting when you're going to exercise, uh, and identifying those days and that frequency, how often you're going to do that. Um, and the last point is just more of a soapbox for me is um, some people say, I don't have time to exercise or I don't have time. Um, I always say it's a prioritize, priority thing. 
a lot, a lot of us are on our phones and playing video games and watching TV or whatever it is. Uh, make it a priority over those other things that you're doing just to relax. And sometimes, um, or I should say, you know, exercise is more likely to help you um, with your mental health and relax and things like that in the long run over time. So just make it a priority and start with the frequency and the time. And then step two, I talked a little bit about this already, but uh, um, identify, you know, identify when you can exercise. And then as you do that, okay, what am I going to do during that time? Maybe it's after work. Um, okay, I'm going to walk after work every day. Well, what if it's, what if it's raining? Are you going to, you know, going to have a backup plan? Um, are you going to do something inside? Is it going to be, you know, at a rec center? Um, you know, maybe you can join a basketball league. Maybe you can join a run club or cycle club, swim club, something like that. Those are always great when you are with other people for the most part. Um, myself, I, I uh, like to play golf with some with some uh, some other people and things like that. So anytime you can make it social, I used to play basketball, but uh, those days are kind of long gone. I can't uh, can't really get up and down the court like you used to. Uh, just a couple of injuries that uh, just don't allow me to do that anymore. I wish I could do that, but, uh, but once again, anything you can make fun with other people. Um, I think if you've heard of CrossFit, that's why CrossFit is is so popular is because um, it's a social. Uh, a social um, exercising event where you're with other people and you're competing. Um, also, classes are really um, super popular. I mean, everything from aerobics to they have different kind of weight training classes. And I've even seen classes on treadmills and things like that. But that's because there's other people and there's a community. Um, and so there's some tips there. Find something that's enjoyable um, and something reasonable. I know that not everyone, um, you know, can belong to a gym, but it, you don't have to belong to a gym. I mean, it could be as simple as walking through the neighborhood, um, going to the local track, going to the park, getting out with your kids. I mean, if you ever watch kids, they're just kind of climbing around on play sets, things like that, playing um, catch with, with kids or, or whatever it might be. And I even gave the example of, of cleaning the house and you're really moving and things like that. So something that you can integrate into your everyday schedule, uh, make it simple. And I already talked about that last bullet point there, which is to, um, you know, make a social, you know, anything, if it's one friend, if it's five, whatever it might be, you know, if you can get somebody else and then that's an accountability piece too, where they're saying, Hey, let's go. It's time to, you know, time to go for our daily walk or um, jog or whatever it might be. So challenge yourself and then challenge your friend. Um, and then the, the kind of the next piece would be intensity. Um, and it depends on your goals, you know, I think obviously the more intense, the harder you work, you exercise and work out, um, there's going to be more effects. There's going to be more weight loss. Um, there's going to be a better, um, heart health, better mental health, more muscle and more strength. But the more intense you, um, exercise, the more, um, benefits you're going to see. So, um, for me, you know, I've been, I exercise for so, so many years and so long and things like that. I feel like I'm in pretty good shape. I'm 40 years old, but however, you know, I, I, I work out fairly intense, but I kind of know my limits. Uh, I'm getting to the age where, you know, I got to start thinking about injuries and things like that. I got a bad shoulder. Like I said, I can't get up and down the court for basketball as much anymore. So there's certain things I can do more intense than other things, but you have to know your body. Um, you have to know what you can kind of do and can't do. But once again, that intensity piece, I would recommend, you know, you always recommend, you know, making sure you're in good health and you, there's nothing, no issues, physical or any issues with your doctor. But, you know, if you haven't been exercising, I would start out slow and, and increase the intensity as you, as you go along. It just doesn't, it doesn't take a lot of time, you know, a month or two and you, you can get a regular workout plan where you, where you really see some results, things like that. So, um, and then the picture there, you see, if you've been reading along there, you see all those exercise benefits. There's just, um, there's, you know, there's multiple benefits of exercise. And, and if you're having a bad, anything from having a bad day, and you just don't feel like doing anything, just sometimes getting out and getting some fresh air and getting a walk in or going to the gym or playing some hoops. I mean, and then you get done, you're just like, oh man, you know, your, your worries are gone. And so that mental health piece is huge. You know, it's really helped a lot of people. So. 
Um, with that, I just kind of got a sample plan here and I'm not, you know, I'm not going to go through it word by word, but this is just something for you. You know, you always come back and, and take a look at, and I just got this to be totally honest with you. I just got this off of, uh, Devin, if you could, uh, mute your, um, thing there, just so we're not getting any other feedback noise. Um, but I just got this off of Google. If you just Google fit plans, I mean, other certain ones will come up, but you know, if you design, if you design a plan for the activity, um, this one is quite involved, but it usually doesn't have to be this involved. Um, it could be, you know, just having the F, I, T, and T there, and you could just have outlined the days of the week and what you're, uh, what you're going to do. Um, this one is, is a little bit more advanced, but uh, even the intensity you could rate on a scale of one to five or on a scale of one to 10 or something like that. So um, once again, this is very easy to find, but you know, if you use, um, uh, you could use a table in Google Docs or a table in Google Word, in Word and you can just set it up like this fairly easy. Um, you can also just kind of write it out too um, by using a bullet point or outline form. So this is just, once again, this is just a sample. The activity that I did want to go into uh, a little bit more in depth, because um, kind of, I know um, some of you have been working on the discussion questions um, and some of the new courses that we've had out there. So I wanted to just give an overview uh, in the, fit, in the um, Fitness for Life class, semester one, what's called activity 2.3.2. Um, and I kind of copied and pasted the first part of the activity. And then my next slide, I'm going to give a sam an actual sample from a student that I thought was, was a really, really good sample. Um, but the, the activity asks you to reflect on the two questions. Um, what are all four areas of fitness or why are all four areas of fitness important to maintaining good levels? Um, my screen is actually cut off. I can't quite read it there. But give two physical activity examples of the corresponding fitness areas that you currently participate in. If you can't think of any that you currently do, then set two physical activity goals for the future and identify the corresponding fitness areas for each activity. So maybe you're doing something, maybe you're already working out, things like that. But if you're not, what we want you to do is come up with like a future plan. So in any of our activities, it's important to use proper grammar, use uh, uh, complete sentences, things like that. So um, using punctuation. So just always keep that in mind. So I, here are the questions and then I'm on the next slide. Once again, you can come back to this. We're going to post it on YouTube. The next slide is a sample from an actual student. Please don't copy and paste this, um, but uh, use your own, use your own words, your own language, things like that, your own example. Um, but this is from an actual student, an actual response, um, and they said, I believe that by using all four areas of fitness to maintain a healthy lifestyle and improve my life abundantly, I also believe that by consistently maintaining our bodies of giving me more energy in my family, especially my kids, both lead a very active life and healthy lifestyle. I rely on the principles that enable me to become a healthier person and better person to those who, who uh, mean, the most, mean the most to me. I participate in running three times per, per week. This is a very simple example. This is an example of frequency in my personal fitness goals. So don't make it harder than what it is, but she went into quite detail on, on uh, the four areas of fitness and what it does for her, or this person rather. Um, and then she just gave a real brief example of frequency. And so one, other, one last thing that you're going to want to do in any of the discussion um, questions is to make sure you always uh, put in a comment on another person's um, post. So um, if, if I was commenting on this post, I would say that's great that you run three times, times per week. Um, you know, something that I do three times per week is I, I train with weights. And what I usually do is I train for weights for, you know, 40 minutes or something like that. And, and you may say something along the lines of, I'm glad to hear that you know, this is really how, you know, maintaining your healthy lifestyle, it has, um, I'm glad to hear that it's really um, connected to you better with your family. Something like that, something that's specifically in the post um, that connects back to the post. But some students have been forgetting to put in um, comments and things like that. So I just wanted to make sure I took time to point that out. And that, is my presentation and boy I kind of kind of cruised through that I thought it was going to take me a little bit 
um, longer. I'm sharing my screen here. I'm gonna uh, just try to get back to. Okay. PowerPoint went there. But that is my presentation. Do either one of you have any, does anybody have any questions from there about the assignments, uh, about the FIT principle, about making comments, about discussions? I've been doing a lot of talking to you. No, we're good? Okay, you know what, I probably should have done this and I think you guys all have my email address, but if anything, um, and I know this was supposed to last a little bit longer, uh, but since we haven't really had any questions or anything like that, um, and you know, there is a chat box, I don't, I don't see any, wait. Okay. <laughs> I have a question. Oh, I have a question, there it is, Ricky. Ricky says, I have a question, would you consider running around the house every day, chase that, I think Ricky, no. You know what, you, uh, I see your question there. Um, would you consider running around the house every day chasing after my kids exercise? Uh, absolutely, I think you missed part of the uh, presentation, but um, I absolutely would consider um, that exercise. My kids are eight and 10, but when they were younger, I remember how active that was. And so depending on what you're doing, I, I mentioned that earlier, I said, any kind of movement could be considered exercise. Now, how intense is that? I don't know, it just kind of depends on what you're doing. Are you playing a game? Is it kind of a fun game or is it just, you know, your uh, the kids are getting into something and so every so often you're, you know, redirect them. So it just kind of depends on what they're doing, but it's definitely would be considered exercise. And for you, you'd have to really um, decide on how intense that is and how beneficial that is. But, um, you know, maybe if it's more of a game, that would be more intense and, and more exercise than if it's just, um, once again, redirecting them and things like that. So, yeah, definitely, definitely would consider that exercise. Any other questions? All right. Um, so, if there's no other questions for me or anything like that, I am going to post this. Um, and then from there, you'll have access to it, uh, I think, through just through YouTube. So, um, so once again, this is my first attempt at this tutoring session. I may have a little bit more kind of meet my presentations in the future one. And I'm, you know, I'm glad to actually see some of the students here at Graduation Alliance. And um, as we start this process, I hope to see more of you in the future tutoring sessions. And uh, maybe I can go a little more in depth. If you have anything that you're having trouble with or you want to hear more about, if there's any topics, um, you can email me. You know, my, your instructor, it's Adrian dot dean at graduationalliance.com or you can message me uh, whatever works but if there's some assignment that you're, you really want to hear more about feel free um, and email me and i'll see if i can't put something together and from there i think we'll sign off okay all right thank you guys and have a good rest of your afternoon or evening or wherever it might be here in grand blankets uh, almost seven o'clock thank you very much